Hi, Stephen. How are you? Hi, Kelly. I'm very well indeed. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Very excited to be talking about some of the updates that we have just released. So without further ado, what is new? We're going to be diving into dual approval, review stage updates, additional currencies, as well as a zero bills toggle for clients. So all very exciting things that people have been asking us for. But without further ado, dual approval. I have had many an email asking for dual approval for uh, accountancy firms and their clients. So Stephen, what have we done? I understand, like like question myself. And first thing to make clear is we're not forcing this upon anyone. So people that still have one single level approval will continue as normal. But for larger firms and organizations, they require dual approval. So that could be where someone junior in the firm, a finance manager, for example, or finance director, can approve the pay run and they go to someone senior CFO for example to have that second level approval and without both approving nothing will be sent so you can now have both the approval role and a dual approval role and it allows people to have that peace of mind where you know you have the creator the review stage now both approval stages and you know satisfies those requirements internally for sign off. Definitely. I think that's going to be huge for particularly some of the like larger charity clients that we're working with who need that kind of four eyes on every payment. This is just going to make that really, really easy for them. Exactly. And because we work on that e-money account as well, you have that separate funding. So you have you can have more and more steps within your own operational processes. I think that's the beauty of this, right, is that we're not over complicating it. We're just giving people the tools to, I guess, create whatever process is going to work for them, which is amazing. Exactly. Perfect review stage i love the review stage accountancy firms love the review stage but there was definitely an ask for us to build on it a little bit more shall we say um so what have we tweaked what have we changed yeah so the review stage was first implemented it was a simple go no go for accounting firms where again someone junior in the, in the firm could create a pay run and went to a senior partner for review before the client could even see it and if there was ever a mistake you had to reject the entire pay run and then redo it now we've got the ability to reject individual transactions within the pay run. So in this scenario, for example, you realize that paper cards doesn't need to be paid. You can reject that and the, simply pass on the ones that you're happy with to the client. Any rejected will not be paid. They won't be seen by the client and can be included in the next pay run. So it just gives more functionality to our accounting firms. Amazing. That's what we like to hear. I suspect the follow-up uh, part of this will be people asking if they can add payments to pay runs. So we'll uh, we'll pencil that in for a future future thing. Definitely. Um, but foreign currency, foreign currency has been, I think it's fair to say, your baby from the very start. So it's always exciting to see that continuing to grow. But I know we have got new currencies now available under uh, the zero bills tab. So what currencies can people expect to be able to pay in now? Certainly. So. When Zero Bills first launched, it was just GBP, and then we added Euro and US dollar. At the start of the year, we implemented Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Singaporean dollar, and Swiss franc via our single payment form, and we've now implemented those into our Zero integration. So that comes with our bank scanning feature. So no matter what information is on the invoice, we'll be able to pull off the correct details for each of those currencies, store them in Zero, and process payments via our Zero sync. So it just makes it simple and simpler for our accounting firms and clients to batch pay foreign currency invoices. Amazing. And I think that's huge. I think the fact that we've got the bank scanning feature in there for these currencies is incredible because as you well know from building all of this, um, it's not not as simple as we'd like it to be and definitely not a standard format for all of them. Um, so I think that's going to be huge in terms of efficiency for firms being able to offer this for those clients that need kind of multi-currency options as well. No, exactly. Beautiful. And then zero bills for clients. This one, I feel like I have, again, heard plenty of times of actually, if we're not going to be doing the payments for clients, can clients use the zero bills functionality themselves? And the answer until today has sadly been no. Um, so what have we done to make this possible? Yeah, so our priority has always been our county partners, and we wanted to preserve value for the firms with their customers. So what we didn't want to do is just turn zero bills on for everyone where clients may get confused and start creating pay runs when they're meant to be approving and pay things out of order and creating issues for our accountancy partners. So now via the Your Clients tab, you can now turn on that zero bills view, which gives your clients search access to our FX integrations for those currency we just spoke about. And they can now create pay runs within Teleroom. They could always create pay runs within zero, but zero blocked the creation of foreign currency pay runs for those firms. But now everything's in Teleroom, you can turn it on for 
each client as you need to. So if you're hands off, you can turn it on for them. If you're hands on and you do everything your side, you can keep it turned off if you so wish. And I think that's huge, right? Because we're definitely seeing the trend of firms bringing this in-house and offering a fully outsourced service and really adopting Teleroo for that. But I think where there previously has been a little bit of a blocker is for those firms that aren't wanting to offer it as a fully outsourced service, but still want to recommend the software to clients. Actually, this is going to give them the ability to do that and have the client still benefit from all of the efficiencies that they would have if the firm was doing it on their behalf. So that one is huge and I'm very excited to see people start using that. That is it in terms of updates this time around. Stephen, have we missed anything? Is there anything that people should be keeping their eyes peeled for moving forward? That's it for our latest release, but we're working hard internally on our next sprint. We're going to do a lot of work on FX, in, including new routes, and a lot of work internally on fraud as well and helping prevent that for our clients, ensuring that the payments they make from Teleroo are as safe as possible. Amazing. Thank you very much.